Frankie, tell Luca to go outside and do you know what. Vai fuori, tu sai che da fare. Sì, Flo. Punta che ha. Do you know who I am, Mr. Wally? I give up. Who are you? I'm the Antichrist. You got me in a vendetta kind of mood. You tell the angels in heaven you never seen evil so singularly personified as you did in the face of the man who killed you. My name is Vincent Cocotti. I work as counsel for Mr. Blue Lou Boyle, the man your son stole from. I hear you were once a cop, so I can assume you've heard of us before. Am I correct? I've heard of Blue Lou Boyle. I'm glad. Hopefully, that will clear up the how full of shit of my question you've been asking yourself. We're going to have a little Q&A. And at the risk of sounding redundant, please, make your answers genuine. You want a Chesterfield? No. I have a son, my own, about your boy's age. I can imagine how painful this must be for you, but Clarence, an habitual girlfriend of his, brought this all on themselves. I implore you not to go down that road with them. You can always take comfort in the fact you never had a choice. Look, I'd like to help you if I could, but I haven't seen Clarence. You see that? And smarts, doesn't it? And slammed in the nose. Fucks you all up. Get that pain shooting through your brain, your eyes fill up with water. That ain't any kind of fun. But what I have to offer you, that's as good as it's gonna get. And it won't ever get that good again. We talked to your neighbors. They saw a Cadillac. Purple Cadillac. Clarence's purple Cadillac parked in front of your trailer yesterday. Mr. Wally, have you seen your son? I seen him. I can't be sure of how much of what he told you, so in the chance you're in the dark about some of this, let me shed some light. That whore your boy hangs around with, a pimp, is an associate of mine. I mean, just pimping and other affairs. He works for me in a courier capacity. Well, apparently. A dirty little whore found out we're gonna do some business because your son, the cowboy, and his flame, came in the room blazing and didn't stop till they were pretty sure everybody was dead. What are you talking about? Talking about a massacre. They snatched my narcotics. I hightailed it out of there. Would have got away with it, but your son, fuckhead that he is, left his driver's license in a dead guy's hand. <laughs> you know, I don't believe you. That's of minor importance. What is of major fucking importance is that I believe you. Where did they go? On their honeymoon. You're getting angry, asking the same question a second time. Where did they go? They didn't tell me. Now, you just wait a minute and listen to me. I haven't seen Clarence in three years. He shows up yesterday with a young girl, saying that he got married. He asked uh, for uh, some quick uh, cash to go on a honeymoon. He asked me if uh, he could borrow $500. I felt like helping him, so I wrote him out a check. We went to breakfast in the morning, and that's the last I saw of him. So help me God. They never thought to tell me where they were going. And I never thought to ask. Vincenzo, non c'è niente. Questa non è buona. You know, Sicilians are great liars. Best in the world. 
I'm Sicilian. My father was the world heavyweight champion of Sicilian liars. From growing up with him, I learned the pantomime. There are 17 different things a guy can do when he lies to give himself away. Guy's got 17 pantomimes. Woman's got 20, guy's got 17. But if you know them, like you know your own face, they'd be lie detectors all to hell. Now, what we got here is a little game of show and tell. You don't want to show me nothing, but you tell me everything. I know you know where they are, so tell me. Before I do some damage, you won't walk away from. Could I uh, <clears throat> have one of those Chesterfields now? Sure. You got a match? No, oh, no, no. I don't bother. I got one. You're Sicilian, huh? Sicilian. <laughs> you know, I read a lot, especially about things, uh, about history. I find that shit fascinating. Here's a fact, I don't know whether you know or not. Well, Sicilians, were spawned by niggas. Come again? <laughs> no, it, it, it's a fact. Yeah. You see, uh, Sicilians have uh, black blood pumping through their hearts. And, and no, if you, if, you, if you don't believe me, uh, you can look it up. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, uh, you see, um, the Moors conquered Sicily. And the Moors are niggers. Yes. So you see, way back then, uh, Sicilians were like uh, wops from northern Italy. Uh, they all had blonde hair and blue eyes. But, uh, well, then the Moors moved in there and, uh, well, they changed the whole country. They did so much fucking with Sicilian women, huh? that they changed the whole bloodline forever. That's why blonde hair and blue eyes became black hair and dark skin. You know, it's absolutely amazing to me to think that to this day, hundreds of years later, that, uh, that Sicilians still carry that nigger gene. Now this, <laughs> no, I, no, I'm quoting history. It's written. It's a fact. It's written. I love this guy. No, <laughs> guy. No. <Yeah. laughs> no. Your ancestors are niggers. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. And and your great 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 grandmother fucked the nigger. Oh, yeah. And she had a half nigger kid. Now, if that's a fact, tell me, am I lying? Because you, you're part eggplant. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. You're a cantaloupe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Go to this comedian's son's apartment. 
come back with something that tells me where that asshole went. So I can wipe this egg off my face. Fix this fucked up family for good. Hey, boss. Get ready to be happy. 